Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are doing FSD challenges. Uh, these are coming from Roman Wolfie. Wolf Lee, sorry about that. He commented down in uh, last video. I think he requested a few things and he shared my video with some folks. So I'm very happy for that. Thank you so much, Roman, for doing that. And yeah, the first one is going to be lane reversals on 10th Street. Uh, so yeah, we are on 69.25.1. And uh, these are basically minor fixes right now. We are on software 44.30.5. And if you haven't really done yet, please like and subscribe to my video. It'll help me a lot. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please, if that will help me a lot. Uh, and like my video so that it can boost me up uh, on the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this 10th street. So this normally, this, this bridge has a few lanes that... Um, they basically switch sides uh, depending on traffic uh, one direction or like I think it keep, keeps one lane going the other way as well. So anyways, we're going to go and see if FSD beta is able to detect all that lane reversals and see where it's going to um, drive in that situation. So we are on Kensington Road right now. I just found some parking over here. Once we get the FSD indicator, here we go. We should be able to engage, so here we go. Yeah, I think it's gonna be stuck because there's a car that just parked behind me. All right, that's very, very disappointing. All right, let's just put this down here as well and fix this up and then I'm gonna try and maybe reverse just a little bit and see what, if that will help anything. And then let's hit the drive and nothing really it's kind of stuck so all right let's try and give it a push a little bit just to help it out I'll press the accelerator a little bit and see what it does okay it's kind of turning now okay, it's a bit too close to that car but okay yeah that's uh, I'll take that um, pressing the accelerator works even when you're parked. So, all right, so we're approaching the stop sign. A lot of traffic um, or pedestrian traffic, I guess, on this uh, on this road. Should be clear to go. Let's see if it figures that out. Yes, it does. Come on, you can do it. It really wants to wait for that car for for it to pass. Okay. That car was kind of waiting for us to pass as well, so. Ooh, a little bit too fast here. I'm not too happy with that because of the flashing lights. Here we go. Our first disengagement. All right, let's see how it does. So the flashing light, uh, I guess there was a lot of traffic coming in on, on each side, so the car couldn't really see if there's actually a person crossing or not. So the crossing, the crossing zebra, whenever there's a flashing light, that's kind of like an indicator for you that there might be someone who wants to cross and they're just waiting for traffic to stop. So that really should be programmed. So interesting behavior over here. It thought that that car, because it had the hazards on, it wanted to overtake it. But uh, yeah, we should be able to... I'm, I'm really hoping the steering wheel adjusts itself right now so that we can Yeah, and it does it. Okay, cool It's a green light. We should be able to Get through over here. There's a little bit of traffic as usual in this area over here if you are uh, Very familiar with Calgary downtown. So we should be Jumping on the bridge just over there. It's kind of like on a diagonal um, or like a diagonal uh, road so let's see how it does interesting there's a car behind us but there's also a bus and you can see on the visual it kind of shows the bus going into the car a little bit <laughs> we've got the green light and here we go so at this time it's pretty much normal driving because we've got two green lights and two reds on the other side indicating we can't really um, I did put the navigation to go well it kind of goes around because there's no left from here uh, so it's not really gonna do anything special so all right so it changes lanes over here 
just positioning ourselves for our left coming up here and it does that very nicely and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip around and drive the other way around just for um, uh, just for seeing if there's any other differences oh and we're entering here a blocked lane and then changes lanes we should be I don't know why it changed two lanes it should change only one lane and here it cuts across to the first lane as well okay all right let's see if I can toggle it to go back here or actually we do want it to let's say over here oops yeah that works all right so we we'll, that will make us head back towards the other way we've got the green flashing light over here or turning light nice nice really good then we are going to, sorry, I'm just flipping around from navigation, like na navigation to full screen because I'm not very familiar with this route. Okay, good. I was just gonna trust it from now on. Let it do its thing. I really like how it stopped and it even like gave, um, stopped at the right place to stop for a left turning lane uh, to, give, to give more space for, for the folks that are turning in from the right hand side of this intersection very clever green flashing light Ooh. I'm gonna give it a tap a little bit hesitant it is a one-way road so got a little bit confused it should be changing here lanes come on do it do it do it oh it kind of goes over the solid line but a very smooth drive here just entering into the bridge I like that so yeah, Roman, if you are listening, please let me know in the comments when to come to this bridge, just to, uh, um, with the with the lane reversal, uh, what's really the interesting point over here that you wanted to, um, you wanted to test with FSD Beta, and I'm very happy to do that for you. Appreciate it. Uh, coming up to the yield a little bit of hesitancy so i noticed this new behavior with um, fsds where um uh, where there's a yield sign it kind of slows down a little bit and so that it can take in the view and see where the traffic is uh, and, and and actually like calculate a gap for a gap for um uh, for going through so yeah, I really like that left turn as well. That was a left unprotect uh, Unprotected left turn. I will disengage over here and just park over here and put in our next uh, um, Our next challenge, okay, so our next one is going to be um, Driving on the underpass and turn into the memorial drive. I think I got it right um I will do this uh, U-turn over here, down here, and then head up on Center Street. If that's not the right one, I will try also and do the reverse. After going up here, I'll probably do the reverse and go down there. So, yeah, thank you so much, Roman. And yeah, let's give this a shot as well. Oops, I always forget. Here we go, I'll engage FSD. There is a car coming up on the left-hand side. It should stop for it. It's creeping. There's another car. Ooh, and I'm, oh. All right. So what happened over there is I touched the brake pedal and I kind of disengaged by mistake. So partly my fault. Um, I think with that creep forward though, uh, you'll find that lots of other drivers will probably give way for the car. Um, so yeah, I, I think that would have went well, to be honest. So here we've got another interesting interesting um, scenario where we have traffic coming in from the left and from the right. And we are going to cut across to the left. And we've got also some pedestrian that wants to cross. So the traffic on the left is stopping. Traffic on the left, right is clear. Pedestrian is crossing on our right as well, but no issues with that. It's not really interfering. Very nicely executed. I liked how it waited very long, like, and patiently didn't, like, creep into the intersection or do anything wonky like that. So, happy with that performance. 
the text the stop line very nicely over here like the, the stop line is way behind and it actually detected that and stopped way behind for this traffic intersection which is only for pedestrians to be honest so really like that the other car that came next to us also parked next to us i'm not really sure like i would have if i was driving i would have stopped even closer to the um, the pedestrian walkway but anyways yeah that's done very nicely changing lanes So just to uh, update you guys, um, so the autopilot speed is at six plus the speed limit. So we are driving at uh, a 50 speed, uh, 50 kilometer speed limit uh, road. So we are, um, the, the autopilot fixes itself at six plus over that. So 56 kilometers per hour. And just a quick update on the weather. It is minus three degrees Celsius right now. Uh, I am very surprised to see people going out there and jogging in this weather. I, I personally can't do that. So kudos for those folks. So here we are coming across this bridge that takes us across to the other side of the river, of the Bow River, if you are familiar with Calgary. nicely handled and it's gonna creep forward on this red light over here I would be doing the same thing I don't think there's any issues with doing that and it picks the first turning lane all right it's pretty adamant to stay on this one no issues it's gonna have to flip over uh, sooner though This lane is coming to an end. It does detect that. Yes, it does. And it kind of squeezes its end, squeeze, squeezes itself inside to the other lane. Yeah, not too bad. I would like it if it anticipates that a little bit more earlier and then kind of cuts across. Cause like, whoa. And what are we doing here? Okay, we're going over here. Yeah, it was kind of a little bit delay on that intersection. Really loving the drive though. It's handling it very well. 69.25.1 is awesome. So 69.25, uh, kind of had like a lot of issues for me for some reason. And here we go. Another bridge. Very nice. I hardly like interfered any like with anything in this drive. Now, when when the weather is way better, like this is a biking lane as well, so this this road would be shared with bikers um, or cyclists. But yeah, it's doing it very well. There's no indication here if these lanes are reversed or anything like that. So, so it just took this lane over here. It kind of thinks the lane next to us is uh, is also, yeah. All right. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Let's see how it does it. If, yeah, I had to disengage over there. But yeah, now it kind of recognizes it and puts a yellow lane, a yellow line over there um to separate us so yeah uh, it got confused on that very very on spot on challenge roman <laughs> to be honest all right kind of waits for this car to pass and then here we go awkwardly turning into this so now i think i'm just gonna disengage here because want to try and get it to go backwards again 
let's hit continue and yeah we should be routing back now over the bridge so And yeah, it should have stopped for that pedestrian. Huh, very weird. Normally FSD is very cautious around pedestrians. It's very hard for them to fine tune that, I find. Um, some versions, it's overly protective for pedestrians. And other versions like this, it's like, yeah, whatever, a pedestrian. <laughs> But yeah, I think that was my first encounter ever with FSD Beta not stopping for a pedestrian to cross. He was kind of hesitant as well, so I don't know. If he put his foot down to the street, I think it would have, uh, FSD would have stopped. So it is clear, there is one truck coming in, there's some traffic coming in actually. So it's gonna have to stop here. I won't let it go any further three more SUVs kind of like a mini SUV and then there's two more coming up right now and then there is a car turning in that we also have pedestrian crossing Ooh. and we should stop we should stop okay here we go I had to I had to disengage for that huh all right safety critical disengagements to be honest very safety critical so it kind of gets confused again here on center street it doesn't know if this is if this is the yellow lane or that's the yellow lane but it kind of wants to flip over now okay i think so what gave it gave it away is that traffic light in front of us might have been so yeah, we're coming down center street right now that's a very nice view. You can see the Calgary CN, Calgary Tower over there. Um, yeah, so we should be turning left over here. Coming across to the incoming lane for some reason. Yeah. The whole uh, lane reversal thing, I think, is not very uh, well done here. I'm gonna have to disengage. Alright, let's engage. I'm gonna wait for this guy to apologize and then we should push ahead to go. All right, yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, that wasn't good. Okay. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Sorry, we have to end this at the, at a, like a, a bad note, I guess. Yeah, those last two disengagements, I'm not very happy with them. I will probably come back here for, uh, we'll come back here for another test later on. So um, yeah. Um, and if you haven't done yet, please like and subscribe to my video. This is another FSD beta challenge. And uh, yeah, it went okay at the beginning, but towards the end it kind of uh, screwed up. But I will be doing that center street coming across to the other lane uh, on a different time. And if you do have any other suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'll be very happy to do it. If uh, do you have any better timing to come for this uh, test, Roman, also, please let me know in the description below or in the comments below. Thank you very much and have a nice day.